last night, uh, start number two, and an excellent one. And he's uh, back again after another terrific performance. And that, of course, Matt Harvey. Matt, welcome. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Uh, what what did you think about performance number two last night? That was pretty good. Uh, obviously, when whenever we get some good run support, it's always nice going out there, and, and especially in Philly, getting a, getting a big win. You know, you don't pitch against them, but, I mean, getting ready for a game knowing you're going up against a guy who's been one of the great pitchers in baseball. Uh, what's your thought? Is that is that, is that a, a big incentive? Is that an interesting thing? How about the idea of going up against, you know, starting the game against Doc Halliday last night? That was awesome. I mean, I could tell uh, I could tell warming up that I had a little extra adrenaline going, and and uh, you know one of those things that I knew I was going to have to to tone down a little bit, and you know that that kind of happens anyways in Philly. So uh, you know, really facing Doc last night, it was it was channeling that that extra adrenaline into uh, into a little more focus, but. You know, going in, that was a fun matchup, and, and coming out of it definitely was as well. How about, what would you say about your stuff last night? Um, it was pretty good. It was kind of sporadic. I, you know, I, I really wasn't happy with the consistency of everything. Um, but, you know, obviously I, when, I, when it counted, I needed to make a pitch, and, and I was able to do that. And, you know, I think I talked to Buck after the game, and he probably gave me a B on on stuff last night and, and uh, kind of laughed considering the the outcome of, of the game. So, um, you know, he's definitely looking looking forward to an, an A game, and and uh, obviously I am too. Well, you know what? I like to see the A game because you're off to a great start. Uh, you know, 14 innings, 19 strikeouts, four walks, and uh, one run scored. So uh, two very good games. And whenever you go up against that lineup in their park, I mean, you know, you got some guys there that can hurt you. There's no question. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, one through nine, you got to be careful, and 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 you know, obviously, uh, you know, any well hit ball to, to eat either side, right or left, you know, it, it's got a good chance of getting out, and uh, you know, you really have to focus on the bottom half of the zone, and and uh, you know, really mixing in pitches, keeping them off balance, and and you know, I think especially here and and in Washington, um, you know, those are the two parks that you can, you know, you can't really get away with much right to left, so so you got to work on. Uh, you know, up and down more so than, uh, you know, in and out. What was the difference between start one and start two? What would you say, compare them for me and tell me what was the difference between start one and start two this year? Um, you know, start one just seemed like everything was working. Um, you know, the fastball uh, location was there inside, outside, up and down. Um, last night it was a little bit different. I really had to work a little harder to get, um, you know, where I needed to go. Um you know the difference was last night I had the slider I had the curveball working which which definitely got me through uh you know the seven innings whereas the first game I I pretty much did it with a fastball so uh you know that was the biggest difference and the biggest help that you know kept me in the ball game 110 pitches uh you uh, the 104th pitch was 97 miles an hour so you still had a lot of gas in the tank uh, uh, late in the game yeah yeah i mean that's that's always been uh you know the preparation the the hard work during the off season and you know definitely getting your legs in shape and spring training definitely helps with that um you know i've always i've always been a guy who you know you don't want to go out there and, and blow it out the first two three innings and not have anything but uh fortunately enough i was i was doing well last night and, and able to uh you know withhold some some velocity late into the game so you had a little incentive last night to throw a goose eggs, huh? Because the manager told you you you, you got a fine and you could have get your money back if you threw a shutout last night. <laughs> yeah, Is that yeah. it? So you, had, double, you, you didn't get double. your money back, huh? No, he was going to double if I went nine, so I was pushing for that. But no, I made a I made a mistake. I uh, I showed up a little late, so. Um, he obviously gave up a run and, and didn't deserve anything back. Well, uh, listen, one run's okay, though. You know that? I mean, what, you'll live with one run, that's for sure, especially against the Phillies on the road. That's not a bad performance. So yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got to be pretty thrilled. I mean, two in the bank, it's got to be nice, even this early in your career, it's got to be very nice to get a couple of Ws under your belt early in April, two very nice performances. That's got to feel pretty good right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I you know, coming into this year, coming into spring training, I, I definitely wanted to, to start off hot and and uh you know get on a, on a good streak here and hopefully uh you know these next couple starts the next two away ones and then a couple home home ones in april hopefully you can keep it going and and uh you know then obviously 
push on the uh, the accelerator there in the halfway through the year. You know, you're becoming a topic of conversation around the National League already. There's no question you will continue to be that. Can you see the reaction to hit is changing to you a little bit from this last year to this year? Can you see a little difference in their approach and everything? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, obviously now I can I can throw everything for a strike, and that's that's the biggest thing. I think last year I noticed a lot of guys were falling off the fastball and, and going deep into uh, – you know, into counts, and and this year it's, it seems a little bit different right now because I have, you know, the changeup first strike. I can throw a slider in any count, and and uh, you know I can I can throw that get over curveball. So, um, you know, that's that's definitely a help. That's definitely making the fastball a lot easier to to sneak by guys, and and uh, you know with good location, it's it's working pretty nice.